And as you can see, we are back on Carnival. We couldn't stay away for too long. <laughs> I'll be back in Carnival with smiling faces. It's a little warmer in Texas. I really can't. But uh, yeah, and then come join us for this embarkation day, guys. way on that ship right now. Got the girls in front of us. Oh, it's hot. It is a little warm over here in Texas, but uh, yeah, we're dressed for it. Yeah. As you can see, shades. But yep, chicken process was pretty easy. A little long though, but- uh, A lot of people today. A lot of people. I feel things, like it was a bit chaotic though. It was a little bit chaotic in the beginning, but it kind of, worked out so yeah <laughs> All right, guys, so we got our first drink. Um, Jez, what'd you get? I got the Ocean Bubble. And it's made of vodka, blue curacao, apple, and light juice. I got the Coral Beauty. It was Aperol, uh, again, lemon juice, and aqua fava. So we'll see how this is. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, got a lot of fun with that. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, you want to switch? Yeah, let's switch a little bit. You know? Definitely taste the gin in that one. I don't know which one. Mm. All right, babe, are you going to do the honors? Yes. Oh, that's theirs. Yeah, six flights is uh, no joke. Nope. Okay. I can't wait. Ooh. <sighs> <sighs> All right, so pretty standard. Got a bigger TV though. Usual. Something else that uh, we're gonna do, do a little different with this uh, cruise is that we're gonna have something I call tip of the day. So whenever you hear this sound, this is gonna be our tip. my guys burger well mind you I got a lot of burger today so moment of truth I've been waiting for this for can't remember how many months I had my last guys burger this one is pig patty it has bacon cheese and the um, beef I know, I am too, bro. I really don't know. I know, say. I mean, I am. Mm. 
Is that as good as you remember? So it's still the same. It's still as good as how I remember it. All right, guys. So she got that. I got a Uncle Jerome Shack burger. It's basically a hot, a hot, a hot and spicy burger. Um, got all the fixings on there. I didn't get fries. I'm not too too hungry right now. He's gonna get to me a bit. Um, but uh, I already took a bite of it. I think it's awesome. Like it's as great as I remember it. But yeah, we got different lunches. But hey, yeah, uh, we're both enjoying it. Um, but hey, uh, we're Scott and Shed. Give us a, a like, a thumbs up, and uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like what we have. We have continuous cruise content uh, going on. Uh, we're on Carnival Jubilee for a seven day cruise. So, if you like what we got going on, hey, just let us know. Send us a comment down below, too, guys. We just got back from the sailor party and I was on the side of the ship sailing, uh, showing the actual sail away. So what did you think of the sail away? It was, um, as usual, Carnival hosts the best sail away party ever. Um, it was very crowded today. Yeah, very. Yes, and as you can see in the video, there's like a lot of people in that Lido deck area. Yeah, even uh, I think the pre pre sail away party, uh, I caught uh, Sienna in that, yes. in, that, in that line. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, there are a lot of people, even the Serenity deck, I went up there for a quick minute to see if I can get a good viewpoint up there. That was even crowded, so. Yeah, I was in deck 17 um, watching people, but yeah, it was pretty crowded, but hey, as long as like people have fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what it is. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna freshen up a bit. Our bags arrived, so that's always a good thing. And we're gonna unpack, uh, freshen up a bit, and then uh, tonight we're gonna go to Cucina del Capitano for dinner. So mm -hmm. we'll take you guys along with this so you can see how that's going. Bartender Nikolai, that was our bartender on the celebration exactly a year ago. We just walked up to the bar and he says, Oh my god, it's been a year, guys. So, you guys need a good bartender at Alchemy. Nikolai is your guy. You, you can't miss him. He's about six foot eight. He's, he's a tall guy. He'll take great, he'll, he will take great care of you guys. Well, made me famous, all right? More, more famous than you are? I grew up in Michigan. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Adrian. Well, we live in Michigan. 
Here you go, guys. This is my favorite drink at my favorite bar made by my favorite bartender. Oh, I spill it. But this is called cucumber sunrise. All right, so Shez and I just came from guest services, getting the extra key for uh, for the rooms. Um, stopped at Alchemy Bar. Uh, enjoyed that drink. Enjoyed seeing Nikolai. Yes. So backstory, Nikolai. We first met Nikolai at um, Carnival Celebration last year. It was one year last exactly. year, and that's how we met one of um one of the friends that we made is from California and we still keep, we still keep in touch with them and I told him I was like hey we are seeing Nikolai and it was really awesome that like Nikolai remembered us he looked at us yes. did, it didn't even take a double take it was like ah no. oh, you guys again it's been a year where y'all been and that, yeah. that's just awesome you know and you know it's just it's stuff like that that makes me be like you know what it's it's awesome being in being with the yes it's amazing how the these um how the workers are at you. carnival like they do remember you so if you guys want to try carnival jubilee and then if you haven't tried alchemy go try alchemy like they make like really good drinks you can't go you know you can't go wrong with any of the drinks in there and make sure that like you order drinks from nikolai yes nikolai will hook it up yeah if you're curious what the um drinks are like at the alchemy bar mm -hmm. we actually tried all the drinks on the alchemy bar yes we do have a separate video for it so check it out if you want to try any of the drinks at alchemy bar yeah yeah there's something for everybody there and trust me uh just tell one of the bartenders there hey you know give me something off the menu and tell them mm -hmm. what you like what you don't like and they'll hook you up like a tow truck all right yep all right but right now we're relaxing um we are waiting for our reservation yeah. for cucina del, del capitano, capitano. um then, not gonna lie we did a cucina last year on the celebration we weren't too impressed but we're gonna try again we're gonna try again because you know what uh, different crew different ship mm -hmm. you know see what happens but and we're enjoying this view right here We're just gonna hang out here for a bit more and then uh yeah head inside and when it comes time for the reservation after that um we're probably gonna head to dear future husband show mm -hmm. at I believe like nine and there's like another show at 9 30 so whichever we're gonna end up to yeah nine we'll or go, 9 30. we'll go to the one of the two uh, we're gonna go around and see see what's going on. I don't see a whole lot of partying going on, but I'm pretty sure that's because uh, the uh, drink package yeah. isn't in effect yet until day two. So, but that's just a theory. But yeah, we'll see. And what also, is. speaking of which, yes, tip of the day. I know. So we are doing um, something different on our vlog for this time it's we're gonna do uh, each day we're gonna do tip of the day yep and we're gonna hear this little chime and that means the New York shedding is gonna give you guys the tip of the day so tip of the day with Galveston being a port that you can't uh, do the drink package until day two you can do one of two things. One, budget to put a little more money on your sale and sign or ship card. Or two, do what we did and bring a full bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. So we already got like, I think two drinks. Yeah. Three, actually three, sorry, a piece. But we spread it out a little bit. And we still wanna, you know, still wanna go and you know have some fun tonight. So we have a bottle of wine a piece. So. That's gonna cut back on costs a lot for tonight. Mm -hmm. So, and you can do that every cruise. So, don't think that you have to go and put an extra two hundred dollars on your account because you're selling out of Texas, or you're selling out of I think it's New York as well that does that. Oh, okay. So, don't think that you have to do that. You know, you can bring a bottle of wine and still enjoy it. Have one or two drinks. It's not gonna kill you. 
so have a good night. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna sit here and enjoy the sunset a little bit more. Alright guys, we just got done with the uh, Cucina del Capitano. Uh, food, in my opinion, was better than what it was before on the celebration last year. But, um, service seems a little slow again, so, um, it seems we're the only ones <laughs> ever that have a slow service. So, uh, maybe you guys will have better luck, but, um, yeah, I mean, if you like the food, which we did, I would try it again, but, um, we... We're not going to on this one because we're just going to try everything else. What do you think? I think so too. Well, I've, I've noticed that like a lot of tables, um, they were waiting for their food for a while as well. So I guess maybe they just don't have enough people to serve. That could be. I mean. Yeah, but there could be like, you know, a lot of reasons why service was just slow. Yeah, it could be. But, uh, you know, if um, we did uh, bring up an issue uh, to the, the host and I was like, hey, um, like, I don't want to just skip out with pork and cheese without the sign. And they're like, oh, no, they didn't give it to you. Oh, okay, we'll correct that. Within two seconds, there was a, uh, the server here was like, hey, here you go. Anything else I can get for you? Nah, we're good. So, yes. you know, I don't think it's intentional. So, you know, nothing against them. But it was, a pretty, it was pretty busy in there. So, yeah, just keep that in mind, guys. Head off to the Jubilee Theater, that's deck six front. Uh, we're gonna see uh, Dear Future Husband. So, we're gonna go downstairs manually, at least. Yeah, we're gonna do manual. Yeah, get our steps Ooh, in. Okay. All right, let's do this. So we are here at the Jubilee Theater, deck six and seven for Dear Future Husband show. It's pretty packed. I think this is the only day that they're showing this New production show. Yeah, we uh we looked on the app to see that uh, it was done any other day. Mm -hmm. And um no. In fact it opened up the door at nine. And yep. it starts on nine thirty. So um, we got here maybe about nine fifteen and uh, as you guys saw it's pretty pretty fast. It is. So keep that in mind if you guys come up with drink and y'all wanna see this show. Okay, okay, sorry everyone. Some guy named Vinny requested it. <laughs> I just remembered that we have So we just got out of uh, Dear Future Husband. That was a uh, pretty interesting show. It is. Yeah. Um, I like. I like how they incorporate like a little bit, little bit of uh, kind of like the talk the oldies um, stuff I grew up on. I mean, some newer-ish songs, um, but you know, I liked it. You know, the performance was great. Uh, it only went about. A little bit under 45 minutes, so you didn't feel like you were in there forever. Yes, and this show is new in Carnival, and I believe it's only um, available with Carnival Jubilee. Yeah. Yes. 
And if you've sailed with Carnival Jubilee, like don't miss this show because I highly recommend it. It was pretty good. It's, a, it's like a very good production show. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Um, we've not been able to find that show again. On I know. This itinerary, mm -hmm. so yep. Looks like it's a one and done too, which is a shame because yes. it's a pretty good show. So we're gonna call it a night from here. Um, pretty tired from traveling yesterday and then today and being in the hot sun. So yeah, we're gonna call it tonight. So thanks for joining us on uh, Embarkation Day. And don't forget to hit that like button if you like what you see us find this, you know, constant and continuous cruise content. Um, you know, it helps us out a lot. And if you're even more generous, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a lot, guys. So, Tomorrow is a sea day for us. Yeah, sea day one. And it's a first formal night, too, by the way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're probably like, you know, we're not going to MDR tomorrow, but we're going to Chibang. Yep, we're going to Chibang. Yes. We uh, went on Chibang on the celebration last year, and uh, we loved it. We ate there twice for the celebration, so. Yep. Yeah, well, well, we'll see how it is here, so. So follow us along on this um, seven-day journey. Yep. And each day we're going to give you guys um, the tip of the day, so watch out for that one tomorrow. Yeah. All right, guys. Happy cruising. In our next video, it is day two, and it's a sea day. Scott went to a bar crawl and I stayed over at Serenity for a relaxing day and later on that night we went to dinner at Chibang.